guys, welcome back to another Tech Review Tuesday. Today, today, special treat, Gear VR from Oculus and Samsung. Um, I got this when I picked up my Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Um, <clears throat> and fits in here. Uh, let's first talk about this thing aesthetically. Um, mine was free. Uh, shipped about a month after I got my phone. Uh, you had to file a claim. You had to like take a picture of your receipt. You had to register your product with Samsung. It really wasn't that hard. Um, for a hundred dollars, like this thing retail. I think I got the old version. I'm like 99% sure because. The new ones I'm seeing have like this little white thing right here, or right here, and mine doesn't have that. Uh, mine is just the straps. When you open the box, you get these straps are detached, uh, two different ones, and that's about it. You get the cover and some books, uh, whoop de do. It's not that hard to set up. You do have to download some software to run stuff, but that's not really a big deal either. Um. They will take a few minutes if you've got crappy internet. I had to wait like 20 minutes for mine. Is that really crappy internet? Um, your focus on top here. It's a little like dial. Uh, just goes back and forth, zooms in, in and out. Uh, it's. Uh, we'll talk about the experience in a minute. It's it's really really light. I thought it. Well, it is a lot heavier when you have your phone in it, but it's, it's really, really light. Um, you have a back button and controller on this side. Let it focus. So when you want to do something, you tap this little, it's not really a button. <clears throat> it's more of like a little indentation. And then you can swipe like down to up, front, back. And then this up here is like a little back button. It's like an actual button you can click. It takes you back to like, your home pages and stuff. Um, so how it works to set it up inside, you have like this little thing that your phone goes into, you just stick her on there. Uh, make sure it's like straight up and down uh, and it's not like cocked to the side. And then basically you just shove it in the other end and it's not that difficult. And then to get it out, you just pull this little lever, pops up, pop it off. Um, for those of you that have the note, uh, there is a way, I forget already how to do it because I had to do it. Basically, you can shorten it up or like you'll see like the little thing there so you can make it bigger. I forget how to make it bigger, I won't lie. I don't think it's hard. Oh yeah, there's a little button underneath it. You push that button and then it slides to the A position which is for the bigger phones. Or the B position is for like the edge and just the regular S7. Um, let's see, what else is on the outside here we can talk about? The straps are adjustable. The straps are pretty comfortable. I thought when I first saw them, I was like, oh Jesus, this is going to suck. But they fit snug. Um, you don't really have any like play. like Unless you're like fucking whipping your head around real crazy, then nothing, nothing real bad happens. Um... When you very first put it on, I'll show you the inside, it's kind of disorienting, like looking into that, like you're just like, what the fuck? Um, but there is like a pass-through camera, so like if you leave the cover off, you can put this on so you don't look, nah, you're going to look like a total douche either way, but I mean, it's cool, it's fun, I won't lie, it's one of the, we'll go ahead and talk about the experience that I had with it. I haven't really had a chance to play too many of the like big name games just because I haven't got a controller yet. I probably will will review like maybe a couple games later, but I don't. I'm not sure that I want to go through the whole recording gameplay. I may just do like a quick minute review, just talking about the game if I liked it, if I didn't, uh, how I thought it looked aesthetically. I got a text. Okay, I'm back. So, as far as, like, the games go, um, I think 
the ones that I've been able to play aren't really that exciting. Uh, the games that you play with your head and the button, it's just more like look, shoot, look, shoot, or you just, I don't know, there's not much to them. I want to get a controller really bad and actually get to play some of the games. Um, as far as like looking at pictures, like 3D pictures and stuff, or no, VR pictures and videos, that's probably the coolest thing about this. Um, watching like a race car like drive around a track and you're like inside and you can like see people along the like sitting in the on the side you can like look down in the pit and see stuff um there's somewhere you're like at a circus those are really really cool um i haven't really seen any there's also like a jurassic park app that's really cool uh it doesn't it doesn't really take you long to get through everything but like as big as it is and it's free you can just download it it's it's really cool to just <clears throat> to just kind of look around at dinosaurs that are just like right in your face it's pretty cool um the home even the home page is really cool where like i i didn't notice it until like half an hour into my like just messing with menus is I started to turn around and I like I heard my mom say something she was sitting beside me and I turn and I look and I'm like oh shit there's stuff over here so like you're in like this floating house is the best way to I can explain it and you can just like turn all the way around there's like a couch and a TV behind you and then like over on the other side it's like a pool and it's just it's just a really cool experience um three people I got three people to try it uh, I had my mom I had my girlfriend and I had my sister all try it and all of their reactions were that it was pretty cool um, none of them are gamers at all and probably my mom had the most fun with it which was super surprising I thought she would get sick uh, the text and everything does look a little grainy like you've got to really get the the focus spot on um, and it still looks a little grainy, uh, but it's not like a super high quality product. I mean, this is a this is a great entry to VR. I this makes me I was super skeptical about it. Like I wanted it to be really cool, but I didn't know if it would like really feel that cool. And it I'm sold. Like I I want to get a Vive so bad, or or an, even an Oculus. Like if there's like a really cool game that comes out for it and it gets really good reviews like I might buy a Vive or an Oculus for it um, because just this is awesome like if you are skeptical about VR and you're not sure if you'll like it hundred bucks like it, it well you have to have a Samsung phone and more of these are popping up all over the place for like iPhones for um, the LG phones so these things, these, these aren't hard to come by. And anywhere from like, I've seen some for like 50 bucks, 50 all the way up to 150 bucks. So if you want to pick one up, uh, if you have a, like a Galaxy phone, I would highly recommend this. This thing is super cool. Uh, the games, I don't know if they're fun or not. Um, a little bit longer, but um, I just wanted to try to cover all the bases for this thing. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been a cool tech review Tuesday. Try to get something else good out for you guys next week. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. Tongue. What? This is going. Anyway. Tongue. Galaxy Edge, but uh, I know this one is a little bit or a little bit. See Edge S or guess Samsung Galaxy Edge S seven six phone. I don't know, fam. I don't know what phone I got. I got this one. I got this fucking.